The most hallowed record in sports is about to change hands for the first time in over three decades. Hank Aaron owned the all-time home run record for the last 33 years. But on Saturday night, Barry Bonds tied Aaron when he belted his 755th homer. Swinging a high fly ball left field. Did he get it? Backing up Harrison, and it is gone. He has done it. There's number 755. Last night, with a chance to make history in front of his home fans, Bonds took some tremendous cuts, but came up empty. Will the spotlight shine on the record breaker tonight? History is on the horizon as the Nationals and Giants square off next. It is the midway point, bottom of the fifth coming up. Bonds has not homered tonight. He does have two hits. He'll be the second man up here in the home half of inning number five. His family right on edge. And as the night gets a little bit cooler and darker here in San Francisco, Everybody is continuing to wait on history. Bonds with a double and a run scored in the second, a single and a run scored in the third. He is two for two. Big shift on for him as the infield is pulled around toward right. Bassett with his first offering of this at bat, and it's up and away. Ball one. The lefty with a 1-0 pitch. Down low. 2 and nothing. All he's seen so far in this series have been fastballs away and breaking balls for strikes. The 2 nothing, and that's right through there at the knees for a strike. The whole ballpark is standing. The 2-1 pitch. Fouled away. 2-2. Two and two. When he's right, he does not miss this pitch. I'm not saying he hits it out, but he puts it in play. That ball right there was thigh high outer half and one of the 755 in the past. Bassett's 2 2 pitch and it's outside. Three balls, two strikes. John Lennon got him on a 3 2 curveball last night in his third at bat. Barry might remember that. The 3 2. High chop along first and a foul ball. It was a curveball. And instead of swinging and missing, as Barry Bonds has done throughout his career, he makes a little adjustment and gets a piece of it to get another swing. Bassett's 3 2 again. This is swinging a high fly ball right center field. Back it goes. Racing back. Logan jumping up, and that ball is gone. Number 756. Barry Bonds stands alone. And on the night of August 7, 2007, in San Francisco, California, Barry Lamar Bonds has hit more home runs than any major leaguer in the history of baseball.
He was excited about the fact that they said they were going to challenge him. And he said, if they challenge me and they make a mistake, I'm going to get him. Well, he got them, and now he's got the record. San Francisco like no place else. And a long standing ovation and kisses for the family. His wife, his mom, his kids surrounding him. And the fan who has number 756. Baseball has a new home run king. How about that? Bonds embracing his godfather, Willie Mays. Very pointing to Willie Mays, his godfather, saying he is still number one. A lot of people have debated the best player in the history of baseball. These two guys certainly in the conversation. And Barry just told you who he votes for. Willie Mays has a microphone here on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, number 756 for Barry Bonds, everybody. attention to the video board for a very special message from a very special someone. I would like to offer my congratulations to Barry Bonds on becoming baseball's career home run leader. It is a great accomplishment which requires skill, longevity, and determination. Throughout the past century, the home run has held a special place in baseball, and I have been privileged to hold this record for 33 of those years. I move over now and offer my best wishes to Barry and his family on this historical achievement. My hope today, as it was on that April evening in 1974, is that the achievement of this record will inspire others to chase their own dream. Take care of everybody. Passing the torch to you, Barry Bonds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I got to I got to thank all of you. All the fans here in San Francisco, road and home, it's been fantastic. I want to thank you all. I got to thank my teammates for their support. Through all this, you guys have been strong, and you've given me all the support in the world, and I'll never forget it, as long as I live. Thank you. I got to thank my family, my mother, my wife Liz, my kids, Nikolai, Shakari, and Asia. I'm glad I did it before you guys went to school. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I got to thank the Washington Nationals for your support. Thank you for understanding this day. It means a lot to me. My dad. <laughs> thank you. 
Thank you. Shake the hand of the man who has just hit 756 Major League home runs. Here's Bochy there, quiet. One on one moment with Barry. He was overcome there. Well, I'm emotional sure. than we've ever seen him, I think. Coach is telling him right there you want to go back out, you want to play some more, you're done. It's, it's totally going to be his decision, and, and rightfully so on this big night. One more look. It came against the left-hander Mike Bassick with one out in the bottom of the fifth. A drive out to right field, not into McCovey Cove, but he knew it at the crack of the bat. He hit it to the deepest part of AT&T Park. You know, I think that's another one of the biggest things, OB, is the fact that all of the intentional walks, all of the walks, nobody with more in the history of the game. He still has been able to hit more homers in this huge ballpark. Other people can't reach that spot. He knew immediately that he had. His third hit of the ball game, but the only one anyone's going to remember. His son Nikolai, who has been with him every step of the way here during this home run tour. His 17 year old son, his reaction. Wow. We got a high jumper. And Mike Bassick, who indeed taking his dad's advice, his own father's advice, went right after Barry Bonds tonight. And the Bonds family on this historic occasion. Great sense of relief there, I'm sure, as well. Diego, he tied Hank Aaron. He did not make the trip here, as he said he would not. San Francisco to continue following Barry Bonds on the road to the all-time record, but I think uh, much of the surprise of many here in the AT&T Park, a take message from Hank Aaron on the center field scoreboard, which was met with passionate applause here in the ballpark. Just talked about in an inning before that Hank Aaron was not here and he hadn't called. Well, he did everything he needed to do. Classy gesture there by Mike Bassick as he tipped his cap to Barry Bonds. You know what? I tipped my cap to Mike Bassett too. When a lot of people over the last 10 years have pitched around him and tried to trick him, he challenged him. He went right at him. And back to the ball. On the mound. He'd already singled and doubled. Fastball ball away, ball one. There's a breaking ball. You can see him locked in. Look how he's closer to the plate. That's a perfect pitch. All right, 2-0, oh, I'm going to take that. That pitch, I should have taken deep. Well, guess what? He takes the breaking ball, takes another breaking ball, gets a piece of it, and then he saw that pitch earlier in the bat. He missed it. He knew he didn't miss that one. You know, that's another thing that he's done more than anybody in the history of the game. He's hit him so far, he's been able to get a high five from the first base coach as well as the third. And yet another hug from Nikolai. 
He has decided he only wants to do one and only press conference, and that's going to be post game. But we got some info on him. His name is Matt Murphy, 22 years old. You saw he was wearing the Mets gear. He's from Queens, New York. He and his friend are on their way to Australia, and on a whim, they decided to buy tickets tonight to come to the game. And yes, he caught lucky number 756. Not too sure what he's going to do with it, but remember, Barry Bonds did tell me this week that if he was the fan that caught the ball, he would definitely sell it. So we'll see what Matt Murphy does in his Mets uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Known less. Matt Murphy heading for Australia, emerging from that, of course, everybody got what they wanted to see here in San Francisco tonight. Barry Bonds hitting number 756. He is the all-time home run king in Major League Baseball.